aircraft performance in horizontal flight. So we, today we will see how to calculate the minimum airspeed and the maximum airspeed. In addition, uh, last week we have seen range and endurance. Today also we will see uh, speed and stability. So let us start. So please note that we are 10 minutes late, so maybe we will extend it another 10 minutes uh, to, in order to finish our session for today. Okay, so from, I'm sure you know this, lift equal to weight for any aircraft, lift equal to CL half rho V squared S equal to weight. From here, so the velocity equal to and the square root W over S, two over rho, one over CL. So, so we need we need to get minimum airspeed. Obviously, from this equation, in order to get minimum speed, CL should be maximum. CL can be maximum if you look look to relation between CL and the angle of attack. This is the relation. This is the relation for profile. So there is a linear relation and there is a maximum value. Beyond this, the lift drop. So this is for profile, but for three dimension, for three dimensional wing because of losses. So the lift at the same angle of attack, look, the lift for three dimensional wing is, is less. So the maximum lift coefficient at this value. So normally this value uh, varies uh, between 15 to 20 to 25, it depends on aircraft. When the aircraft, it has very um, swept angle. So normally this, this angle shift to the right. So therefore, the minimum airspeed equal to under square W over S, two over rho, one over CL max. CL max, again, it depends on the design and the aircraft. So, it, but it's possible to maximize this one, this CL max, by using here a slot, or maybe flat, a slot, as you know. So it's possible to extend this curve. So the dotted line, it means that the lift curve is, is extended. Also, it's possible to use flaps. Here we have different types of flap. Here we have a plain flat flap. Here we have split flap. Here we have single slotted flap. Here we have slot. And also here we have double slotted flap. Here, fl fowler flap. And here we have complex slotted flap with a slot, here is slot. So using flaps, so it allows to raise this curve up. So we gain lift, okay? So this is how we can uh, calculate the minimum airspeed and also how to minimize it. Of course, it's good to have uh, air aircraft with low speed particularly for, um, uh, for endurance, to, uh, for spy, for monitoring, and also for sport purposes. And sometimes in order to make air show, you need to have the, air, uh, the airplane to fly at low speed. Of course, you cannot fly less than this, this value, otherwise stall will occur. So minimum airspeed actually, it is a limit the minimum limit, the airplane that can fly, and also at the same time, this value is good to have it very small in some type of airplane. <coughs> okay, let us go to the maximum, or to, to show this value on the diagram, or performance diagram. This is a performance diagram. Here we have, in horizontal axis, we have airspeed. <coughs> The vertical axis in the upper plot, here we have force, forces. And in this plot, we have power. <coughs> so in the upper plot, we have drag. So this is the aircraft performance. 
and we have this one this curve is a thrust this is the engine uh, performance or this is aerodynamic performance and this is propulsion performance so this is in terms of uh, drag thrust and the unit is a newton and here the drag and the unit is a newton in this plot this is more uh, <coughs> appropriate for uh, appro for propeller aircraft so this curve the power required by airplane and express the aerodynamic um, uh, efficiency and this curve represent the power available by engine and also this is express the quality of the power system okay so obviously this is the minimum air speed okay so now let us move to the maximum air speed as it, i think it's clear from this curve so when the curve here and this curve here across each other at this point in this plot or at this point in this plot so here we have the maximum air speed so this is the maximum the pilot he can fly if he set the maximum throttle so this curve for maximum throttle and uh, as you can see for uh, thrust for thrust the as the speed is increased there is a tiny uh, decrease but of course to make a simplification we assumed previously that this curve is constant and also the power is also we assume it is constant for proper uh, power system okay so here we have uh, example simple example we have here given the wing loading and here we have given the maximum lift coefficient cl max 1.4 and we need to find this tall of course tall it mean minimum air speed so at two different levels or altitude so the first one at sea level 1.225 kilogram per meter cubic and the second altitude is 5000 meter and the density is 0.737 so here i will show you the solution but i will not explain it to save some time okay so we now we need to move to the next performance which is the maximum airspeed maximum airspeed we will demonstrate first of all for jet for jet aircraft for jet aircraft of course normally the graph is given in terms of force and velocity and here we have the drag curve and here we have the maximum thrust obviously these two cur two curves cross each other at this point this point corresponds the maximum air speed so now the question how so can we calculate it analytically using equation of course graphically it's possible to uh, to work out this easily but you need first of all to plot this curve and this curve and then find out this point and then measure this value but uh, mathematically let us see how we can calculate it so first of all let us start with this relation here we have the drag of of the aircraft equal to maximum thrust that can be produced by engine at the same time also we have the lift of the aircraft equal to weight so this is at straight and at steady flight okay we don't have any acceleration so from this equation here we can write it in different way so t max this is t max and here d here is d and here just i need to include l multiplied by l then divide by l so here i i have changed nothing okay so uh, therefore look d over l this is c d over c l and l equal to it so now t max equal to c d over c l into w okay this is from one side from another side we have the drag drag coefficient it has a relation with 
CL like this, CD0 plus K into CL squared. This is called polar. Okay. So now we can simplify this equation like this. So we can divide the all side by CD0 by CL. So then we have CD0 by CL plus K into instead of CL squared, here we have CL equal to CD over CL. CD over CL equal to T over W. So CD over CL plus K into CL equal to T over W. So now we need to solve this equation. We need to work out CL correspond, or we need to calculate, yes, CL correspond maximum T max, or uh, correspond maximum trust. So we rearrange this equation by multiplication by CL. So we have here KCL squared. And here we have this one goes to left hand side and we have minus. So it becomes T max over W into CL. And this one becomes CD zero. So equal to zero on the right hand side. So Obviously, solution of this problem is very easy. So here we have actually, it's this has this form, ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero. So here we need, we have two solution actually. So one of them, logic, and another one should be also uh, uh, not acceptable. So we have two solution. One of them is acceptable. So we have positive, for example, positive number, and maybe the another, another solution we have, actually the, the, the another solution corresponds this point. This point, of course, this curve, look, the drag, across the thrust in two points, theoretically. But uh, practically, we have only this point, the maximum value. The small value here, this is not practical because this speed maybe is less than this tall speed and the aircraft cannot fly or at the value he cannot fly at this speed. So you need to discuss this if this uh, question asked in the exam. So we can follow the same procedure for propeller aircraft, but of course, instead of dealing with the thrust, you need to deal with power. So, um, so I will, I will not do, do this to save time because we need to move to the range and the endurance. Uh, last week, we have seen how to maximize range and how to maximize endurance, but I haven't told you how to calculate it. So today, we'll, uh, if we, hopefully we have some time to do it. So now I show you how to calculate the minimum and maximum speed for jet airplane. And here is an example. So please do this example and I will show you the solution here. I will record it. 